I had a student who was dealing with all the stress of being a healthcare professional in training. Tremendous amount of learning and very little time to learn that information and to put it on the exam. We set up an opportunity for them to have some creative writing as an outlet. But this idea of just reflecting on your life or your experiences, and it changed that student's entire semester. More compassionate, more studious, um, less burnt out, less stressed about things. I don't know that I could have, have chosen anything for that student that would be better than the experience that they had being you know, on the creative side of things. Memory is something that supposedly lives in the mind, although if you cut through the human skull and examine the tissue lying beneath, you will not find anything tangible among gray matter labeled memory. He cannot stop grasping the air, but to catch it is far less easy with what he's got. And then there is this mind, still unmercifully awake to face each bare day. The luxury of wellness is one of addition by subtraction, a lack of any of many possible tormentors, pain, trauma, malaise, impending organ failure, impending death. I want to tell him that life has a limited allotment of terror and grief. In the absence of dread, in the seconds of an easy sigh, I see it, an infinite fraction of peace. I have decided that it would be much more productive to enjoy my health and use it while I can, and to improve my life and the lives of others through promotion, participation, and a career in medicine. This has allowed me to live in my head as someone who meticulously and compassionately cared for the other, taking the spotlight off of myself. It's been well known for a long time that various types of art, you know, think uh, written art, literature, uh, poetry, the graphic arts, music, uh, have had a dramatic effect on how people heal, particularly from serious and chronic diseases. Think about how medical humanities originates in the 70s as medicine is getting all these wonderful new diagnostic tools and tests. They're seeing these horizons open up, but it also requires students to take more chemistry, more biology. There were physicians in some medical schools who felt that although these tests were wonderful, they were moving students, medical students, away from that connection between the physician and the patient. Using the humanities, we learn a little bit more about how as individuals we observe the world around us, which impacts how we observe and make decisions in treatment and care of, of patients. Reading classical literature, you know, reading philosophy, I think that's really opened up a greater understanding of how to um, understand humanity and that I think uh, accelerates, you know, how I practice medicine. The study of sociology, the study of religion, uh, the study of psychology kind of broadens that uh, your worldview, it, it broadens the paradigm that you're working within and without. Students who are interested in the same kind of relationship, in understanding how the humanities and the arts can use health and illness as a lens to better understand our humanity. What can we do to provide resiliencies? And I think that's some cool stuff that we're doing, is these idea of art this idea of, of writing, of literature, it's not just studying, it's doing. This idea of practice, what are we doing with a practice of medicine? It should include the other parts. What has happened across the country is an increasing focus in this area, that one can design the humanistic experience, if you will, that one can design the art, the environment, the surroundings in which healthcare is delivered to create a calmer environment, to create an environment where healing is enhanced. We are now recognized as either the largest or one of the largest healing arts programs in the United States. At the University of Nebraska at Omaha, we have a thriving minor in medical humanities, over 85 students and counting, and we're ready to offer our major. And this is built on the strengths of our faculty members the artists, humanities scholars, and social scientists who are part of this group. The partnership between UMC and UNO is important 
because it takes the uh, humanities experience and expertise at UNO and couples it with the medical side at UNMC. The relationship that we continue to enjoy between the University of Nebraska at Omaha and the University of Nebraska Medical Center continues to get closer together. And so when the decision was made to explore the possibility of creating a major, developing a Board of Regents uh, designated center of excellence in the health humanities, the expertise was just uh, very fertile and very ready to move forward. So I think the students can really benefit from the idea of faculty sharing our expertise, sharing our knowledge, and helping that learning flow from the first undergraduate course to the finishing of a doctoral degree. And it really helps bring people, the community at large, closer to the cause when they see that the individuals working for these health organizations, they're not just there collecting a paycheck, they truly, truly care about the individuals that are in, in these health journeys and crises. So the ripple effect just goes on and on and on. I also see this as outreach and yet another outreach opportunity. It's not just us and it's not just UNO, it's the community of Omaha, it's the state of Nebraska. To bring our students into underserved communities throughout our city to work alongside and to help the people that they'll be serving one day in the near future in a clinic. Well, I would really like to see how the Health Humanities Center can impact 500 miles away. We need to put fresh eyes on healthcare in America and who better than our artists, our humanities scholars and our social scientists. Whether it's, whether it's music, whether it's art, whether it's creative writing, um, all of these things um, enhance this person, um, not just as the person, but also as the medical professional. And that makes all of our healthcare a lot better. We found this thing that nourished us, that energized us, that made a difference in our lives, that helped save our lives in many ways. So we realize the potency of what we're helping to deliver through UNL Medical Humanities, which is part of the proposed Health Humanities Center. The humanities extend the ability to care. They bring it together. Think color, think sound, think smell, think, you know, all of our senses feed information in that helps us deal with our environment and when we're dealing with illness, uh, helps us heal. <laughs>